What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here. And in this video, I'm showing you some more American Silver Eagles that I picked up. And I also wanna talk about why right now is an awesome time to be stacking silver. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. If you're new here to my channel, definitely consider subscribing because I have a lot more really awesome silver related content coming out. Uh, but in this one, I'm showing you what is my largest American Silver Eagle purchase I've ever made. It's actually sort of like a three-parter, so I'm going to get to that in a second. Uh, and I'm also going to talk about why now is an awesome time to be buying silver. I'm stacking silver right now more than I ever have before. Uh, so let's break into these packages. Uh, and I do, I said it was a three-parter, and so this package here is from JM Bullion. Uh, we're going to open that one in a sec. This package here is actually a trade from Silver Bean Counter, so I'm excited for that. And I was at my local coin shop, and they were doing a special on American Silver Eagles for $1.95 over spot, so I picked up a tube baby i'm excited looks like there's one stripe in this tube so they are supposed to be bu uh, but that might be a cool little toner in there and i think they're all 2009s because i think that's a 2009 on the top so let's start with this one right here and uh we will just get this uh unboxing a rolling so i've actually uh never picked up 2009s before i don't think uh yeah yeah 2009 okay and these look pretty nice uh, here's the tubes I have so far. I got six tubes, so 120 eagles here. Uh, 2012, 2013, 2015, 2019, and then these are two mixed. So I believe this whole tube here is actually 2009ers. I want to pull out that toner. Yeah, here's the toner. Look at that. That's gorgeous. It's just got some toning around the rim. Very nice. That's a great looking eagle. Oh, cool. I think I'm going to put that one on top, actually, because I love the toners. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all going to be 20, uh, 2009s. I said 2019. Uh, yeah, they're probably all 2009s. And these are all BU, but that's a steal right there. $1.95 over spot. Um, it was a special. It was a deal he was running, and I was able to uh, snag it. So I'm super stoked on that. So we got another tube added here. Okay. Get those all settled and you got the toner on top now i'll get this one labeled as well uh so sweet we got another tube added we'll put that one right there that'll be my 2009 tube it's kind of cool to have different years but you know at the end of the day it doesn't really matter american silver eagles and american silver eagle right uh so okay let me start unboxing these and i want to talk about why now is just an epic time to be stacking silver so right now the spot price of silver is around $15 an ounce. It actually um, just went down a little bit and it's been hovering around like $15.30 and it went down a smidge. As I'm filming this video, it might go up again. You know, it goes up and down, but either way, historically we've seen the spot price of silver uh, jump up into the $55.0 range. And so when you're talking $15, that seems very, very low. Uh, also, we've recently seen gold jump up quite a bit. Gold has spiked from, if you remember just a few weeks ago, gold was actually, okay, we got to the box in the box. That's how JM Bullion does it. Uh, gold was in the 1200, it was like $1,280 for a while, just kind of hanging around there. And then wham, bam, bam, gold jumped up. Here we got the tube out. Oh, another tube added. Like I said, biggest ever silver purchase here for Eagles. Um, but uh, gold jumped up into the $1,400 range. So gold just skyrocketed up. It's still in the $1,400 range as I'm filming this video. It's like $1,402 today. Um, and so gold has just gone crazy, but silver really hasn't moved that much. And so when that happens, we have something called the gold to silver ratio, which is basically how many ounces of silver does it take at spot price to buy one ounce of gold at spot price. And that ratio has widened. So we've seen that ratio go from around 90 to up to about 93 right now. It's like 1 to 93, which is just absolutely insane. I mean, that's the largest that ratio has been in my entire lifetime. I'm 28 years old and it's just absolutely crazy. And so when the ratio gets wider, that pretty much just means 
if you're playing the ratio that it's a much better time to be buying silver. So that's one reason to be buying silver. Oh look, they got little little uh, foamy things. Okay, why not jam bullion? It'll keep that top one from scratching, huh? These are, uh, let's see, I think they're all 2019s. Yep, 2019, so these were on sale over at jam bullion. And uh, so we got a whole roll of 2019s here, which that's super sweet. This is my second roll of 2019s, and these all look fantastic. I mean, why wouldn't they? They're fresh from the mint. Uh, let's pull a couple out here and take a look. Uh, but anyway, so the gold to silver ratio has widened to a uh, ridiculous amount. And so that just pretty much proves that silver is undervalued. It's a great buy right now. I think it's a great buy. I mean, I'm buying obviously lots of silver. Uh, I think it's an awesome time. And also just with the relatively low spot price in the $15 range. I mean, last year it was up in the $17 range for some time. And this year it's, you know, we're still down to the 15s. And so I think with everything going on in the world, we might see the price go up quite a bit in the near future. Uh, beautiful 2019 there. And uh, let's take a look at this last one. So as, you, as many of you know, for precious metals, the price of them goes up usually when we go into a recession. Uh, so right now, it's looking like we actually might. There's a lot of things pointing towards that. Um, you know, I don't have a degree in economics or anything like that, uh, but uh, we have seen the uh, spot price of gold go up considerably. Also, we've seen the dollar just seems to be weaker. It looks like they're going to be actually um, doing some rate cuts. Looks like the Fed will be cutting rates uh, maybe in July. We'll see if they do a full 50 point rate cut, then you know we could see a recession on the near horizon. So if we go into a recession, the prices of precious metals will likely go up. Um, and you know, silver is generally uh, looked at as an industrial metal. And so a lot of people say, okay, well, if we're in a recession, you know, they're gonna be making less products out of silver. So why would the price of silver go up if the demand is lower and we have a surplus of it? Well, that is one way to look at it. But the other way to look at it is that people who aren't buying those products, they're gonna be wanting to you know, save their money and precious metals are a great way to save your money where you don't have to worry about inflation, hyperinflation, uh, but also just people pulling their money out of the stock market because they're literally losing money hand over fist on their stocks. And so they pull their money out, they put it into things like commodities, you know, real estate, precious metals, and we see the price of gold and silver go up. I think, I mean, that has happened uh, just at the last recession that we were in. Uh, and so we saw silver go, that was the most recent time we saw silver go up to around $50 an ounce. So if we go into another recession, I think we can expect to see something similar to that. Um, you know, I'm not saying I know silver is gonna go up to 50. I think it, it could definitely go up to 20, 30 bucks an ounce. Who knows? Um, so, you know, I'm not a fortune teller. I don't know what the future holds, uh, but I'm stacking silver as hard as I can right now. So we've got another tube added to the stack. That brings our total up now to 160 American Silver Eagles. And look at this, we're going all the way across the screen now. Uh, I'm actually gonna have to start putting these in my monster box. I've got a monster box here, uh, which I'll break out probably here in a sec. But um, let's get to this last one here. So this was a trade with Silver Bean Counter. And I traded in the uh, US assay bar that I got from my coin shop. It was a straight trade, 10 ounces for 10 ounces. So I'm expecting to see uh, 10 American Silver Eagles in here. Uh, you know, we'll see what he sent me. Oh, see, look at this, Silver Bean Counter. You are doing the package within the package. Oh, and check this out, he's got a little note on here. Uh, hey bags, thanks for the trade, bud. Cool bar for cool eagles, much appreciated, SBC, silver bean counter. Thank you so much. That is very, very cool. And uh, yeah, that bar that I sent him was a toner. It was gorgeous. And uh, those are actually going for, I've seen him like $250 on eBay. So he could probably flip it for a little profit if he wanted to, uh, but I think he's probably gonna hold on to it. So, oh, look at this. All in flips, oh my gosh. Silver bean counter. These are all in individual flips. 
Uh, wow, I guess he just didn't want him getting scratched up or dinged up or whatever. But these look all to be uh, really good condition, brilliant uncirculated. This is a 2015. Oh, nice. So, we, so maybe we'll have a little variety in here. Maybe they're all 2015s. I don't know. 2015. Okay. Maybe I'll have to start another 2015 tube. 2015. Very cool. I'm going to put uh, take these out of the flips and put them in a, uh, a mint tube. Yeah, I think these are probably all 2015s. That's cool. He probably just, you know, took his 2015 tube like mine, cut it in half. Awesome. But these look gorgeous. Thank you so much for the trade. This is perfect. This is helping me on my journey to a monster box of eagles. Last one here. 2015, nice. Yeah, these are, uh, if you don't know, these are called flips. These are, basically you can put one or sometimes two. I guess these are all just for one, but sometimes they'll have a little pocket on the other side. You can put a coin in that one as well. Um, but yeah, like pretty much all the big companies uh, have these flips that they'll put stuff in. So I think that he, I don't know if he actually bought them and they came in these flips or if he bought other things and then just switched them into these. Cause I've got like, you know, hundreds of these little flips. I don't know about hundreds, but probably probably at least a hundred of them uh, just kind of lying around. So they, they actually do make good for shipping. So that's a great idea to do that. And also you don't hear them jingling around in the mail, right? I mean, when you mail stuff, you, you kind of want to be cautious because you never know who's out there. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get all of these added to my last tube here. Uh, and that'll bring my total up to 170 American Eagles. So I'm just flying on my eagle journey. I feel like an eagle. I'm soaring right now, um, and and I'm super stoked. I'm not going to slow down. I want to keep up, keep on picking up as many eagles as I can. Uh, but also, like I said, just right now is an awesome time to be buying silver. It's 2019. The spot price is low. We might go into a recession. The gold to silver ratio is wide. I mean, how many other things do you need to, to tell you this is a great time to be buying silver? Um, and so, you know, my personal stack, I'm trying to get eagles. You don't have to buy eagles. You could buy other things. I've talked about that in previous videos. Um, you know, actually, if you want to know what kind of silver you should stack, I'll put a card up here in the corner to a video I have uh, talking about that. But anyway, super cool trade. Thank you so much. Silver bean counter. Uh, really, really awesome getting these. Uh, so I'm going to put these in my tube and, you know, it'll be half 2015s, but I don't think I'll be able to find another 10 2015. So it'll probably end up being a mixed tube, uh, which is okay because like I said earlier in the video, I don't really mind the American Silver Eagles having different dates. It doesn't matter to me. The date doesn't really mean anything unless it's a, uh, uh 1996, which is the key date, uh, or 1986 is kind of cool. Cause that was the first year of them. But anyway, I'm going to get these put in off camera here. Uh, that's pretty much all I have. I do want to say just a massive thank you so much to everyone for watching my video. I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.